I've been doing eyebrows for a long time. That's why the press dubbed me the eyebrow king because I, I made a lot of trials and errors until I got it right. E.T. Yeah. E. Style visited the brow king of Hollywood, Damone Roberts, at his Beverly Hills studio for an A-list brow transformation. And he spilled the tea about some of his most famous clients. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to brush down the hairs to see her natural shape. And we're going to take my own wax, and it doesn't hurt. It's like a band-aid coming off. So what I do is I start in the middle. When it comes to the center of your eyebrows, you want to go about an inch apart. You don't want to go too much further because what happens when you go too much further, it makes the bridge look a lot wider, it makes your eyes look smaller, and it makes your face look a lot fuller. When they go to where they should go, which is pretty much the center of your nostril, so let's say about there and about there, it contours the nose, it brings the arch up higher, which gives you bigger eyes, and it raises the cheekbones. So it's all about that symmetry. That makes a huge difference. So now we're going to brush everything down, and we're going to clean up the top. A lot of people neglect the top when they do eyebrows, which doesn't make sense because you have hair there, so it needs to be addressed as well. I don't want to take off too much. I like fuller eyebrows. I take off a little bit with the wax, and now I'm going to fine tune it with the tweezers. I hate what has become known to me as an Instagram brow, and what that means is that it's really, really dramatic. It's like a block that starts in the beginning and it goes down to a really hard, harsh point. That doesn't look like an eyebrow. It doesn't look real. It looks artificial. I think the trick is you want your eyebrows to look like eyebrows. The best way to achieve an arch without making it too thin is to do a gradual ascension. So what I mean by that is you start off fuller and you gradually go thinner towards the end. You don't want it to be really, really thick and really, really thin on the end. You want it to be really, really soft because again, it shouldn't be just brows. It should look like a nice frame for your face. You know who I think has really, really beautiful eyebrows and she's such a beautiful girl? It's Jenna Dewan. You know, we worked on shaping her brows for many, many years to get them really nice and full, and we finally got them to the point that I don't see her nearly as much as I would like to <laughs> these days. Craziest place I've done eyebrows has been on the red carpet for the Oscars. Literally on the red carpet for the Oscars, <laughs> I've done eyebrows. I've done eyebrows in lots of private planes. Um, this morning I did Tracy Ellis Ross at her home, and Robert Downey Jr., we've done them at the pool. I've done Channing Tatum, Reba McIntyre, as she's been singing country music to me. Typical eyebrow appointment takes approximately about 15 minutes, but when you have some like Oprah Winfrey in your chair, you take a little longer just because you're trying to get all of that knowledge. You have really great brows and you have great features, and you always want to take those features into consideration when you're shaping someone's eyebrows as well. So what I mean by that example is, Someone like a Reese Witherspoon, who has, say, uh, more of a longer chin. You don't want to give them a higher arch because what happens is it creates more space in between the face. So you would give her a straighter eyebrow, which would kind of shorten things. Brooke Shields has more strong features. So you don't want to give her a really severe arch because it's going to make her face look a lot more severe. You want it to be softer, so you give her a softer arch. You know, a lot of makeup artists, for example, send their clients here before they go on tour. For example, we just take Christina Aguilera for her new tour because it makes the makeup so much easier to apply when you have the perfect frame. Beyonce is one of my favorite clients because she is such a down-home girl. She couldn't be sweeter. She's sweet as pie. She's beautiful. When she comes in here, she sits up front and reads magazines and waits like everyone else. Now, she does have a bodyguard at the door. I will say that. Maybe we'll get Blue Ivy when she gets a little bit older. Rihanna has become one of my favorite people. Now, of course, I was a fan like everyone else, but once, since I started working with her this year, I've become a fan of her as a person. And this year, we first met for the Met Gala, and she wanted to lighten her eyebrows. So Rihanna's so fly that she has a look-alike model come by your space, and you try out different looks on the eyebrows on the model, and you send pictures to Rihanna, and she decides if she wants to do it or not. It's so funny because people bring in pictures of people like Kim Kardashian all the time and say, I want you to duplicate this eyebrow. And the funny thing is, most of the time I've done those actual brows and pictures that they've showed me. You know, I've done Kim Kardashian, I've done them all. And I really have to emphasize to people that 
yes, she's a beautiful woman, but you're beautiful too. So let me show you how to bring out the best version of who you are. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a highlighter called Stone Cold Bitch, okay? This is a great color because it appears baby blue when you first look at it, but when you put it on the skin, it turns a really warm vanilla. Now I did name this after one of my clients and I can't tell you who that is. <laughs> So a bra highlighter means that we are gonna just kind of draw it on underneath, kind of messy, if you will. And we're gonna take what's known as a smudge brush, smudge it right into that brow bone. I've had celebrities literally call me at 3 a.m. and tell me that they need me immediately. They'll pay whatever I need them to pay. Just make sure I take care of them because they realize that they have a shoot in the morning or they're catching a plane in the morning or, or I mean, I've heard it all. We make it work. I've done many, many brows, like I did Rihanna laying in her bed. Um, I was at Christina Aguilera's the other day and she didn't even get dressed. I've done them in cars, whatever, but I will give the client what they need. The biggest lesson I've learned as an artist in the beauty industry is definitely less is more. You know, when I first started, it was always about more, 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 more everything, more trying to make it look like it wasn't necessarily real, more um, trying to be someone who I really truly wasn't. And as I've gotten more comfortable with myself and with my talents and with my skill set, I've learned that I'm enough, my talent is enough, and it speaks for itself, and that what I am doing is providing a service that many people are appreciating, and it doesn't mean that I'm doing brain surgery, but I'm also making a difference in people's lives that really make a difference to me to see them leave so happy. The brow guru, let's take a look. The brow guru, look at that. Oh my God. See, with all this going on, now I can truly tell you, you've been demonified.